Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and I've missed you so much. It's been a good minute since I filmed a really full face transformation video and I said I had to do it for y'all with this one because I am obsessed with the Britney Spears album and the song Summer Party. So I was inspired by the song Summer Party as in a pretty girly look with a white like button up but all around makeup look, I seen it on Instagram. It was this picture of this girl and it was just her eyes, nose, this magenta smoky eye with glitter. So I said I had to recreate it. It's literally only like, um, it's like, like four o'clock in the morning right now. I gotta be to work at like six. So it's crazy I'm filming this right now, but I had to get it for y'all because I knew it's been a minute since I filmed a video for y'all. So I am giving you this look, it's really, it's not really simple, but it's not really messy either where like you can do this look really simple just clean it up with a wet wipe and it looks pretty. The lips are new, the skin is dewy as usual, and that, and that like, mmm, look at that. Mm. So pretty. And the wig is the same wig that you've been seeing me in. This is the same Maven hair that I've had from my Maven hair video I did a while back. The same inches. What I did is I just dyed it darker. It went from blonde and then was orange and pink and orange pink and like magenta and I wanted to take all that out because I felt like it would clash against this makeup look so I was like in this background so I just dyed it to just like ashy brown and I am obsessed with it so curled and suited behind my ear and I hope you like the video stay tuned it's coming up I have more to come like comment and subscribe if you want to see other makeup looks I know fall's coming and I have a lot planned for fall I just hope I have time to get around to it. I also have a lot planned for Halloween too, so you know I go crazy for Halloween and I turn up for it. So thanks, so, so, so just keep watching and like just let me know what you like to see because I'll do it for you and you know just let me know. Bye! So now let's get into this look. I already did this eye off camera. It was a picture that I seen on Instagram. It was amazing. So let's just get into this look. First, we're gonna go in with brows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in color Ebony. I'm gonna apply that to our brows. Now we're gonna go in with our concealer, our LA Girl Pro Concealer in color Toffee. And we're gonna apply that underneath our brow bone to create a, a sharp brow highlight. I am obsessed with doing this now. I just recently started doing it. It's something really new to me since I started working at Sephora. I just felt like I wanted really clean, sharp brows. And you know, brows are like the new trend and everybody has great brows. So that's how I started doing my brows. So I'm gonna take a flat brush, which is really, this is just a flat brush. And I'm just gonna like apply it underneath the brow bone. If you wanna have me there, I know I'm like a walk in space. No matter how you talk with me. Then I'm going to go into MAC Soft Ochre and apply this all over my lid as my base for this eye look. Since the eye look is very dramatic, I wanted a really good eye base, so I went with a really strong one. Normally, I would just go in and use my LA Girl Pro Conceal all over my eye, but I felt like that wasn't going to be strong enough, so I'm going to take some to blend this all over my eyelid and kind of like merge the concealer and the primer together so they get a flawless finish and nothing's like spacing, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. And for this eyelid right here, we're going to be using a lot of pinks and purples, but just to start off our transitions, I'm going to go in with the color Morocco and apply that as the only brown transition shade in this look. And we're going to pop that right in our crease and just blend it out. And it's just, it's just enough brush. Just blend it out. Now that I have zoomed y'all in at a very tearing frying angle because I am extremely close, 
we are going to get these eyes started and I am first going to go in with our BH Cosmetics. Um, it's, a, it's a 120 palette, it's original, I swear it's like the 120 palette like first edition. And I'm going to blend out the two dark purple and dark pink in my crease. I'm going to speed do that because it's pretty much like just blending out five colors and I don't want you to have to sit through that. So here we go. Now we're going to go into our Take Me to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. And these palettes are old, but these palettes are the best palettes I've ever bought when it comes to color pigmentation. I know everybody's hopping on other bandwagons, but when it comes to color, I'm always going to go to BH Cosmetics because they have never let me wrong. You never get a lot of fallout. They just have a really good formula, and I'm obsessed with it. So now I'm going to go and blend this dark purple right here. Where is it? Right here, can you see it? Right here. I'm going to blend this just to deepen the crease and bring it down into like a V on the lid. I can still feel your now I'm going to go into the black in this palette which is right here and I'm going to use this black just to deepen the crease and smoke it out a little bit around the edges. Now we're going to go into the Urban Decay Electric Palette and use the color Urban just a little bit in the crease area just to add a little bit of like a shimmer and a more of a rich purple. Just right here. And then we're going to take the color Jilted which is right next to it which is this color right here. Here. I'm going to apply that all over the lid. Now we're going to go into our Lit Cosmetics Glitter Base and we're going to apply this all over our lid and then we're going to go in with this glitter right here that is an LA Girl Glitter. I didn't even know that. LA Girl gl Glitter in color Dimatina, Dimatina, and no, color Party Girl. What's weird is to say it keeps away from eyes and lid, lip area, but we ain't gonna listen. And we're just gonna take a little bit of that glitter glue, that little bit of adhesive, and I'm gonna apply a little bit here. Then take it our pinky, and pick up the glitter, and then pat it. Not, maybe not, not the pinky. Now we're going to go into our NYC liner. And I'm obsessed with this liner because it's really thick. And I used to see Crispy use it all the time. And it's thick enough to cover the glitter. And the glitter won't poke through. And it has a matte finish. So I'm going to be using this one. Because the other one I would have used would have had like a kind of like a glossy finish. And the glitter would have like seep through. The color wouldn't have lasted. So I'm living for this one right now. Now we're going to be using our Smashbox Primer and Photo Finish, the original one, and we're going to apply this all over our face. 
And if you wonder why I have one hand of nails and one hand without, that's because for pictures and stuff, I like to have the Instagram baddie hand in pictures. So I put nails on one hand and not the other. I'm just hoping I can take these off because I had them done kind of professionally. So I'm hoping I can like pop these off at the end of tonight because if I don't, work is going to be really interesting tomorrow. And you want to apply your primer all the way down your man neck. Like all the way down your man neck. Now we're going to go in with foundation and today I will be using my trusty favorite, but I'm actually using a shade lighter because I'm not as dark as I was in the summertime, so I'm going to be using color uh, 355 Coconut, and I'm going to use it on my old beauty blender from like 12 years ago, and we're just going to apply that all over our face, and you can, I'm going to like speed through this because you've seen it many a times. Now I'm gonna go in with LA Girl Pro Concealer and color Toffee and highlight everything. Now we're gonna take our Kat Von D Lock It Setting Powder and pretty much just cook the whole face. We will be baking at 350. Now we're gonna go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and use the color Macchiato, I think this is or Espresso, and it's the darkest shade in the medium and tan, and we're gonna contour our whole face, but we're gonna leave the bake on because we're still cooking, we're not yet tender, and out of the oven yet. So let's bake. Now let's, 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 you know. white charcoal mattifying setting spray which should take away the powders on your face and leave the color so we don't look so ashy. Right now I'm looking real pale. So now I'm gonna do the same thing I did to the top to the bottom but no glitter. Just smoke out some colors and I will be back because my camera is about to die. And I don't wanna die before I finish this beat. It's already one in the morning. I gotta be up at like six. Actually gotta be up at five. So I'm gonna be back and stay tuned. Now since this look is so dramatic, I wanted a very nude lip and very natural lips. So I'm going in with um, NYX brow pencil and dark brown. Now, I'm Now I'm going to go on with this new 
Urban Decay lip color and it's called Back Talk. I apply this in the mostly in the middle of my lips. Then I'm going with my favorite lip gloss in color. I don't know what color it is, but it's a little, little like lighter lip gloss, and we're gonna apply this all over our lips for that glow.